everyone. Thank you for joining me for What We're Reading Wednesday, Seymour Library's Video Staff Book Review Edition. My name is Jackie and today I'm recording at the library and I'm talking about The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Manville. She is the author of the popular fiction novel Station Eleven, which centers around the collapse of a civilization. So for all of you dystopian readers out there, you might want to check out that book. The Glass Hotel, I actually read about this book on the New York Times bestseller list and picked it for my family book club. I actually thought it was about the original Ponzi scheme, or rather this, the man that the scheme is named after, Charles Ponzi. Uh, Charles Ponzi ran a scheme in 1920 that ended up swindling investors out of about $20 million according to a quick Wikipedia search, which was quite the staggering sum back then. This book is not about that. This book is about a fictional Ponzi scheme. It is set in 1990 and goes to current time. It follows multiple, multiple viewpoints, including the mastermind behind this scheme, Jonathan Elicatus, his new wife, his employees, and the investors impacted by the scheme. In the back of the book, the author actually mentions that although all the characters are fictional and the book is a work of fiction, the uh, scheme within the book was actually based off, or loosely based off of the Ber Bernard Madoff Ponzi scheme. Technically, this book is a work of historical fiction since part of it is set in the 1990s. Cringe to think of the 1990s as historical fiction. I would say that my favorite character was probably Vincent, um, the wife of John Jonathan Elicatus. Uh, I use quotation marks because she's not technically his wife. He meets her at a hotel bar. Uh, she is the bartender and he owns the hotel and he whisks her into the world of wealth and it's her sections are about adapting to that world, um, finding her place, kind of the culture shock of being around all of that. Uh, she's a very interesting character. She is both a free spirit and a very burdened soul. Early on in her life, she suffered from a tragedy or faced a tragedy, and she's never quite figured out who she was from that point, um, who she is as a person. Largely, I enjoyed the book. There were sections that were confusing. I had a hard time with some of the back and forth of the viewpoints, especially the uh, condensed sections of the employees, um, but overall a very detailed and well-written book. I would recommend it to people who enjoy crime fiction or those behind-the-scenes TV shows of, of crimes, um, as well as people who kind of want to take a view of the world of the wealthy. This book is available as an ebook and an audio on Overdrive. See you next time on What We're Reading Wednesday.